This is uniform bending center. The aim of the equipment is to determine the exponents of the given material of beam by uniform bending. The following apparatus are required for this experiment. This is screw gauge. Using this screw gauge, we have to determine the thickness of the beam. Second one is vernier caliper. Using this vernier caliper, we have to determine the breadth of the beam. This is meter scale. We have to fix two weight handers, 80 cm and 20 cm. This is the two knife edges. These are the weight, slotted weights. And this is a traveling microscope. The given beam is placed over the two knife edges A and B at the distance of 80 cm. Two weighting angles are suspended one each on either side of the knife edge at equal distance from the knife edge. A pin is fixed vertically exactly at the center of the beam. The traveling microscope is placed in front of the arrangement. Taking the weight angles along at the dead load, the tip of the pin is focused by the microscope. Now, the pin is focused by the microscope. It is fixed in the cross wire. The tip of the pin is focused by the microscope and is adjusted in such a way that the tip of the pin is just touches the horizontal cross wire. Reading on the vertical scale of the traveling microscope is noted. Now, equal weights are added on both the, the weight handles. In step of 50 grams, this weight is 50 grams. Each time the position of the pin is focused and the reading are noted from the microscope. Using this screw, we have to adjust the, this screw and focus the tip of the pin with the cross wire. Now it is focused. Now reading is noted. Now, add one more 50 grams weight on both sides. Each 
time the position of the pin is focus using this screw and the readings are noted from the vertical reading of the microscope the procedure is followed until the maximum load is reached the same procedure is repeated by unloading the weight from the both of the weight handles in step of same 50 grams and the readings are tabulated in the tabular column now remove 50 grams on both weight handles one more time we got to adjust the this screw and fix the tip of the pin with the cross wire now this reading is not a now remove the 50 grams face on both weight handles now adjust this screw focus the tip of the pin with the cross wire and take the reading from the vertical scale of the traveling microscope the same procedure is repeated by unloading the weight from the both the weight handles in step of same 50 grams and the readings are tabulated in the table column from this reading the mean of capital l and small y is calculated to determine the thickness of this beam by using the screw guys you have to fix the screw guys and tight this screw after this sound stop it and take the reading from the screw guys there are two readings are the pitch scale reading and pet scale coincidences are noted in the tablet using this reading we have to calculate the thickness of this beam we have to calculate the breadth of this beam by using the vernier caliper we have to fix the vernier caliper like this and remove it take the reading from the vernier caliper there are two readings are noted main scale reading and vernier scale coincidence using this reading we have to calculate the breadth of this beam the h modulus of the given material of beam capital y equal to g l q capital m 4 divided by 4 b d q into y unit is n m power minus 2 g is the acceleration due to gravity l is the distance between the two knife edges in meter b breadth of the beam in meter d thickness of the beam in meter y depression produced for capital m kilogram of load in meter capital m load applied in kilogram capital k slope small y by capital m from the graph 